So today I want to go over the basics of how to foam roll, why I think every single athlete needs to incorporate it into their training, and if this baby right here is worth the $200. Yo, I gotta mention that I just asked for this product. I used it, I loved it. They sent me one, they didn't ask me to do anything with it. So I'm just making this video because that's how much I love it and I just had to mention that. It's not paid at all. Back to the video. All right, what's poppin'? If you don't know me, my name is Steve. I'm a 5'10 dunker, currently in rehab mode, which is why today's video is perfect. All about my dunking journey. This channel started as me just trying to achieve a dream and it's become a lot more. So, I'm a full-time content creator. I love cinematography. That was me in that beginning of that. I can't believe I made that still. <laughs> so, I love maximizing my life and helping others do the same. I love entertaining. I love comedy. I love reading friggin' books. So if you're into any of that, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit all the buttons, hit them. So let's get right into it, baby. First off, I got to say Hyper Ice. Hyper Ice, thank you so much. This has changed my life. It's a game changer. The first time I used it, I was mind blown. And I just want to say thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And let's get into this beautiful baby. All right. How do you foam roll? So I think there's two types of people. People that live and die by foam rolling, love it, and people that don't even feel anything from it. I was that guy. I didn't feel a single thing from it. I didn't understand it. I tried it a million times, didn't like it, didn't do anything for me, but I changed. Huge shout out to my trainer, John Binford. I've been going to him since I hurt my hamstring and I'm trying to get back to dunking. He's helped me learn so much. And one big thing is foam rolling. He taught me how, and so let's get into it. Some of the basics include simply going slow, and the other big key is big belly breathing. Just big breaths into your stomach so you can relax. So I'm going to go with the calves and the quads because that's what I'm focused on. Sit on your calf, start at your ankle, and slowly work the foam roller up, pushing your weight down on it, feeling the points of tension, feeling the pressure, and trying to work it out. It's a massage, but you're trying to move and feel the points of tension. So now when you find a point of tension, for example, in a part of your calf, you could stop there, lean on it even more, go a little side to side, do little circular movements. You could even flex your foot up and down, Dorsey flex, to flex your calf while you're in that point of tension to help alleviate some of that tension. And the same is true with the quad. When you find a point of tension on your quad, do a couple passes over it slow and steady. It's gonna be really painful, it sucks. Breathe and then flex your leg on that tiny point so you could try to work it out. So you have muscles, tendons and tissues and that's what I'm learning and that's why it's such a big game changer for me because as I do this I'm realizing just how tight my muscles are I realize after building body awareness and really thinking about my calves and getting sore from just foam rolling when I would go for a walk on the beach I would notice my calves would get tight and cramp and feel on fire just from walking now I foam roll to warm up and I don't feel that which shows me ah they were all bound up I jump I'm super explosive I was just pounding that tissue in a good way but I wasn't doing the other end of it getting it relaxed and massaging it out so it can recover healthy so this is why I think every athlete should be doing this because as you do this as you find points of tension you're learning about your body you're building that body awareness which is essential I preach it I say it all the time if you're trying to increase your athleticism you have to build speed and strength and you're gonna have to do these compound movements so number one the body awareness helps you do the movements correctly but number two when you can work these muscles and tissues and keep them healthy your body is more mobile it's more balanced and you can lift properly and feel the muscles you're trying to strengthen because for me when I try to do deadlifts and I have no mobility and poor body awareness I'm pulling with all these other muscles except my glutes and my hamstrings and what I'm supposed to be using to pull the exercise so that leads me into the depth of my romantic interest with this baby right here first of all high quality piece of equipment it feels good in your hand it's sturdy but why is it better than just a simple pvc pipe that's just as sturdy before i even say that i gotta say it's beautiful it's portable it's high quality it feels good the battery lasts forever and it's just lovely <laughs> other than that this feature right here the number one feature it's got three modes of vibration intensity. So 
as a scientist, as a physicist, as a pediatrician, what that means is the vibration is causing kinetic energy, right? If you rub your hands together, they get hot. This is doing that for you, which is why it's such a beautiful asset to my training, to my rehab routine. Another thing that I, I think goes unnoticed is as you're rolling with the high vibration, you almost don't even feel the pain because there's so much stimulation going on. You don't feel the pain as much. So that's one little key that I've noticed. I haven't heard people talk about, but the main thing is that it heats up your leg. So not only does that feel good and get blood flow, but it's almost expediting the process, which is the goal of the foam rolling. The goal of the foam rolling is to try to make the tissue more pliable so you can work on your mobility and really start to change it and make progress. So this is kind of expediting that and helping it move along faster and just super convenient, which leads me to the conclusion. So is this baby worth $200? Here's how I see it. I see it as investing in myself. I am proving to myself that I'm taking it seriously and I'm working towards a goal that was once just a dream. So there's things in the gym that are just nice to have and some that are convenient, and this is one of them. You don't necessarily need it, but it's hugely convenient. It saves you time, it saves you effort, and for me, it's hugely motivating because I feel such a difference doing it and I've already made such progress in learning about my body awareness. I can feel my calves getting more range of motion because I'm diligent with this and I'm using it all the time and as a person that's super busy working so hard on every part of my body this makes my life easier and you can't really put a price on that well you can it's $200 but you see what I'm saying so so if you're like me and you're deep in rehab mode or you just want to take care of your body and get to that next level I think this is essential because not only does it save you time and effort, but it really works the tissue, heats up your leg, scientifically proven that it gets more blood flow than just a regular foam roller. So yes, of course you can get the same work done on a regular foam roller, even just a PVC pipe that's super cheap. But if you can afford it and if you're wondering if this thing is worth it, to me, it's a game changer. All right, so I hope you guys really learned a lot from that. I'm a huge, huge fan. Thanks again, Hyper Rice, and thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit all the buttons. You know what to do. It really helps me out. And go end it with the cinematic B-roll. Let's go. Dang, look at that sun. Look at that sun. Damn, look at those birds walking. Man, look at that sunset. I mean, sunrise. Damn, Steve, how you do that? By the way, if you want more content on how to do camera stuff, hit me up too. I love doing these reviews. They're fun. So, I love you. Hopefully you enjoy your day after watching this. I had a lot of fun making it. That's what it's all about, babe. What are we doing on Earth again?